Hi, I'm Daniel Chan from UNSW Australia. In this linear algebra video, we'll be looking at the concept of diagonalizability. So we'll look at it in terms of this question here. We ask, is this 2 by 2 matrix A, 2, 1, 0, 2, diagonalizable? So diagonalizability is a question that involves the theory of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And the way we'll approach this question is to ask ourselves, can we find a basis of eigenvectors for A? So to do that, we'll actually find the eigenvalues and find the eigenvectors. So let's look at the eigenvalues first. So as usual, to find the eigenvalues, what you need to do is to work out the roots of the characteristic polynomial. So you solve 0 equals determinant of a minus lambda i. So this determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix is found by subtracting lambdas from the diagonals of this matrix here. So you have 2 minus lambda, 2 minus lambda on the diagonals, and these off-diagonal entries stay the same. So to compute this determinant, this is actually upper triangular, so you just have to multiply the diagonal entries. So that's just 2 minus lambda squared. And of course, for this to equal 0, each of the factors has to equal 0. And since there's a repeated root here, we'll find there's only one eigenvalue. And that eigenvalue is 2. So lambda equals 2 is the only eigenvalue. So remember, for a 2 by 2 matrix, if you get two distinct eigenvalues, you know straight away that it's diagonalizable. But here, you have a multiple root. They're not distinct, so you still can't tell. We have to go one step further and actually compute the eigenvectors. So let's compute the eigenvectors now. Eigenvectors for lambda equals 2. So remember, how do you get the eigenvectors? They're the non-zero vectors inside the kernel of A minus 2i. So we need to solve A minus 2i x equals 0. And let's write this out as a augmented matrix. So for the a minus 2i in the coefficient matrix, we subtract 2 from the diagonals, so we get 0. And the off-diagonal entries remain the same. And this we want equal to 0. It's a homogeneous equation. And so we see straight away that for this system of linear equations to hold, the second coordinate of x has to be 0. The solution is all vectors of form x1, 0, and this is for any x1 in the reals. So of course this is a subspace, and which subspace is it? One way to see this is of course, it's just all scalar multiples of 1, 0. So this is just the span of 1, 0. So if we want a basis of eigenvectors, what do we need? We need to have two linearly independent vectors from this uh, one-dimensional subspace, which is not possible. So since we don't have a basis of eigenvectors, we see that A is actually not diagonalizable. A cannot have a basis of eigenvectors, so A is not diagonalizable. And 
that completes this question.